my name is Lisa Kershaw, and I'm the Chi Lady. It's nice to be here. Thank you for having me in your home. We're going to spend about a half an hour together doing some mind-body exercises. Take a half an hour out of your day to nurture yourself. These are wonderful, ancient forms of mind-body practices. So all I ask of you, for those of you who are not in my regular classes, to please keep your cup empty for information. Tai Chi and Qigong seem very, oh, it's so slow, it's not for me. But when you slow down movement, neuroscience states, you want to learn a skill, train slowly. So don't underestimate the slowness of Tai Chi, the slowness of these exercises. They're very powerful. We're going to condition the mind, the body, toning, conditioning, strengthening, balance. This is just a little nugget of it for half an hour of information to keep the good chi going. So get comfortable standing or seated. This is user friendly. Make sure that you clear out your space around you so you'll have room to move around. And if you're wearing shoes, make sure those shoelaces are tied up. Okay, let's begin. This is how we begin a little courtesy bow. Bow to the greater mysteries of life. So take a look at those precious feet of yours. Make sure that they're in a nice hip width position. Let's begin with the most basic thing in life, breathing. We're gonna use the arms. And we're gonna do what is called whole body breathing. It's just very little movement from the arms. Let's get just the gross motor movement going. Then we add the mind and the breath. Slowly, inhale, slowly. You can increase your respiration with this training. Pausing of the breath. Exhale, and as you exhale, you're sinking your mind, your shoulders, your elbows, the physical body, downward. Water seeks its level downstream, and so it is with our bodies. We're trying to push down and out any stress, toxicity, out the feet, like water running downstream, it's clear water, inhale, so it is with the body. Exhale, sink and relax. Now we're gonna do something very simple. It's called shaking the tree. Now all we do is push the feet into the ground and let the body shake. So we study movement. And I like to tell my students, by the way, I've been teaching for over 30 years and have national gold medals. And you know, I just love what I do because I personally know what it means to be sick and to have some illness and if it wasn't for these practices i would not be as healthy as i am today so this is just very little movement but what's going on internally you're practicing internalists the joints are vibrating and so when you push your feet into the ground there's a kinetic chain reaction of movement that goes through the ankles up through the knees, the hips, and your spinal column has this little bounce, which is nourishing for the nerve endings. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists. You're not doing the shaking yourself. Let the body, let the feet do the work. Movement from the ground up. Take a breath in. Exhale, out your fingers, through your feet, through your crown of your head. I know that sounds rather interesting, but we're working with ancient practices of Asian traditional medicine. So you can do this. Each one of these exercises that I'm showing you, do on your own. Put pause on, the, uh, on your uh, station there and shake away. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. In fact, take a moment to observe the nothingness. As you're standing there, can you feel any tingling in your hands and fingers? That's blood flow, that's your chi, your life energy. It's nice to recognize that and then you want to work with it more. This exercise is the immune boosting exercise. Honestly, if you do this daily, every day, it's activating your lymph nodes and your lymphatic system becomes more abundant. Lymph fluid flows more freely and lymph the 
lymphatic system is what keeps our immune system strong. I don't know if you can see my feet, I'll walk back a little bit. Get the rotation of your arms, very gently. If it hurts you, then go to the level that feels comfortable for you. Remember, the less effort you use, the more gain. It's like you're shaking water off your fingertips. The lymph nodes are becoming more activated. Now, when the arms come up, the heels come up. When the arms swing back, your toes come up. So this little rocking and rolling of movement on your feet is starting to work the lymph nodes in the lower body. So swing away, stand up and watch a half an hour TV show, and you've got your little daily dose of vitamin C. But for this half hour, I'm just going to be able to give you a little nugget of information of a, a few different things. So now slowing it down, we're going to warm up first. We're just warming up the body, what I like to call WD-40. We're going to work our joints. We're going to loosen the joints, oil the joints. They call, we call them the gates. The gates where the chi flows through. Nice and easy, breathe it up and out. And slow it down. And now here's a tip for your golf swing. Every one of you should be doing this as a warm up for your golf swing. Movement from the ground up. When the hips move, the arms follow. Torso follows. So once the hips move, relax and let the waist move from there. When your waist moves, your torso is going to move. And from there, the arms move. And it's expressed in your hands. It's just like that golf swing. You will develop a relaxed power in your game. So, to make this, and this is a little more medically oriented, I'm going to turn my back towards you so that you can see I'm consciously tapping on my kidney area, on the low back. So you're activating the organ energy system here. The front hand is tapping along the liver the spleen on your left side. So swing away effortlessly. Not like this. Too much tension. Beautiful. Now let's take our hips and circle them. Find the circular pattern of movement on the vertical plane, which is your spine. Like a hula hula hula. One of these exercises you can do for longer, but it's important to oil the joints. This is a huge part of our body. The framework allows this upper body to settle into it. It's a beautiful thing, this machine of ours. Okay, now interlock your fingers. Make a circle, palms gently touching, and circle figure eight of your wrist. Now we're going to add on to this. We're training the brain. We're training the breath, we're training the body. I'd like you to shift your weight to your left leg. I am your mirror image. So when you do that, your right heel comes up. Make sure your left hip and knee are slightly bent. Let's add on the circular pattern of movement with your right leg. See if you can get that all to happen at the same time. This is training the brain. So we're working the hip circling, the knee circling, the ankle circling, and the wrists. Four, three, just when you feel like you've got it, we need to change it. So put the other thumb closer to you now. Take that right leg of yours and go internally, out to in. Yeah, in that moment, your brain just fired up a little bit. You're working the right and left brain hemisphere circular pattern of movement. This is one of the basic differences between yoga and Tai Chi. Qigong is that yoga. Tai Chi is going to be circular in nature. Circular. We're, we're preserving our energy. Yoga tends to be linear. So 
when we do this type of movement, just remember there's a lot going on internally. Interlock your fingers, shift your weight to your right leg, and again, I forgot to mention this on the left leg, but push your big toe into the ground. That's a big part of our balance. Let's do it, let's put it all together. Circle, like your Elvis Presley kind of a movement. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go the opposite direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it on pause if you want. Practice that, it's, it's not back and forth. It's a full circle. These take time to learn. It's in the process of learning them though. That's where the health value is. Let's continue. Widen your stance. You can do this from a seat as well. You can just sit with your legs wide, put your hands on your thighs, and we're gonna work our torso. We're gonna work the waist side. In this position, you want everything rounded, curves like that yin yang symbol. Take your chest, hinge from your hips and put your chest towards your right thigh. Sweep across to the left. Come on up and around. Now, this can make you dizzy. So, make it fit for you. Keep your head above your chest. It's your waist that's moving your torso. Go the other way. Squatting is a functional movement. We do it daily. It's important to stretch through those hips. Think of the tailbone going downward and the crown of your head upward. Keep your spine vertical. Oh, come on up a little morning. Morning is okay. <laughs> okay, bring your feet and toes in. Inhale, hands up. Bend your knees. Exhale, look up. Inhale as you forward fold. Exhale as you go all the way down. As comfortable as you can. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Bend your knees, come on up again. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale a little deeper. So as you do the same movement over and over again, you might find that you become a little more flexible, a little more mobility. Our spine is the main cable of our body. The central nervous system, everything is centralized along that main cable. So when we work our spine gently, we create more of a flexible spine, which will give you a flexible mind. One more, inhale, exhale, bend your knees as you arch back. Inhale, push your hips back. Exhale, feel a nice, delicious stretch in the back of your legs. Good, come on up. Your left hand goes up overhead. Push the left palm up. If I was to come over there and push your left palm down, you would be resisting pushing up. Take your right palm down. You're pushing down and up. Squeeze your toes into the floor and let your hips turn you to the right. Now let your eyes look to the back of your room. Unwind the hips and the upper body follows. So hold the ball, other side. Right palm pushing up the sky, left palm pushing down the earth. Feel that nice stretch from the palm, down the arm, through your waistline. Feel that delicious stretch, make it work for you. Go to your left. Look, shift your eyes to the back of the room. Unwind the eyes and the body follows. A few more times. Inhaling to the right. Exhaling into the position. Unwind. And 
relax. Let your arms rest by your side. Just let your hips do the work here. Just turn. Turn the hips left and right. But I'll, you, so your entire spine is moving from cervical to sacral, from the tailbone to your neck. When your head can't go anymore, use your peripheral vision. Shift those eyes over your right shoulder. Shift your eyes over your left shoulder. Good. And relax. Arms out, relax your legs. Wrist roll. Keep your elbows straight, but not locked. One, two, three. Going slow. Slow is key. Slow is so key. Go the other way. Neuroscience states if you want to learn a skill, do it slow. So we're doing a little WD-40 for the wrists. Now take your arms, hug, coil inward and back and out. the other direction. Stretching through movement is just such a delicious prescription for the connective tissue and also your mind becomes involved in what you're doing when you go slow. Inhale, you feel the pause of the breath. Exhale, one more. Inhale, feel that beautiful stretch. And if it hurts, it's not a good fit for you. Adjust accordingly. Crisscross your wrists. One, two, three, four. Keep those wrists connected. And go the other direction. Place your wrists on your waistline. Apply a little pressure, you're gonna feel a nice stretch. Find the circle as you apply the pressure. This is just fabulous work for keeping our joints healthy. And go the other direction. shifting forward and back. The back foot, your left leg, is a 45 degree angle thereabouts, not straight forward. Everything is designed in such a way for comfort, for correctness. When you, when you feel comfortable, it is correct. Take your right hand, where? Open, stretch the webs of each little finger, open them. Take your left hand and put it on the right side of your waist. Now you're gonna raise your left heel up the weight of your body doesn't go forward. You want to try and reach straight upward. Feel a nice stretch on that right side. This is for the liver. This is for the health of our liver. So as your left heel is up and you're looking up and we're working the cranium and sacral pump, we're going to round it. So inhale, drop your heel, exhale, make fists. And from the side view, you're going to take your left elbow and put it on the right your right elbow on the left fist and round and tuck. So you're pulling inward, tailbone in, shift in, and you're rounding your spine and then you lift up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left heel down, round and use your internal strength. Right elbow compresses into the liver. You're detoxifying. This is Preventive medicine at its best. One more. Inhale. Exhale. It's 
Step your left leg forward, left foot stays. In position, right heel comes up. Where's your weight? Is it forward? Press your left big toe into the ground. Look up. Exhale. Forward. Beautiful. Liver health. Let's continue. at four more. We'll do some Tai Chi movements, and then we'll have a Chi full day. And so now go back to your right lunge. And this is for uh, the heart. Palms together. Take the back of your right hand and put it on the inside of your right leg. We go all the way down like you're pulling a lawnmower. Sit back in your left leg. This is for the lungs. So stretch your lungs and look up and then back down. Let's do the other side. I'm going through these quickly. Some of you that have been practicing this know this, so create a ripple effect around your shear with others safely. <laughs> and we're down here, and then we sit back in your right leg. Four more. From the side view. symphonic musical conductors. So, for these next few minutes, let's just take some arm movements, knowing that you're going to nourish your heart health and your lungs and longevity. Gently, so you're in a big body of water. Float your arms up, inhale. Exhale. This is the beginning of Tai Chi. Inhale. Sink, exhale, and again, inhale. This you can do on your own daily, daily, slowly. There's no effort, it's mind effort. Take your arms out in front, palms facing in. You have to let go of your intellect and logic, which is yang energy so that we can cultivate our yin essence. So draw your attention out to the center of your palms and inhale, expand the hands slightly. Exhale, press. Don't intellectualize this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
There's something magical in there. There's a sensation. It's palpable. Follow your intention. Make a bar. One hand is below the groin level, the other hand is chest level. Your right hand is below. This is parting of the horse's mane. Take your left hand, sweep it in front. Turn the palm up. Readjust your right arm over the left. This is called parting the horse's mane. What is up comes down and what's down comes up. Strike your left arm out, right hand by the right hand. Sweep, catch, release. Shift your weight to the right. Shift your weight to the left. I want you to do some freestyle here. Push off your feet, shift to the right and left. Follow along the best you can. Rounding the joints. A little daily dose of vitamin C is simply wonderful. It's not the years in your life. Remember, it's the life in your years. Back, inhale, and exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Shift your weight to your right leg. Step that left leg a half step in. Shift to your right leg, laterally walking. Steady yourself. When you sink, if you want better balance, sink. Step your right foot out. Now dump the weight of your left leg into the right. When your left heel comes up, try not to raise your height up. Sit deeper into the joints of your right hip and knee. Shift, step, shift, bring it in, exhale. Go back the other way. So you're studying weight transference. When that heel comes up, that's the moment to study. You are a practicing internalist. You're studying what's going on internally when your body is in motion for stillness. Okay, relax. Not enough time to do the actual Tai Chi form. Uh, but you've got some nice information to help purge toxins from your liver, your heart, spleen, kidneys. We didn't do the kidneys. Let's just end with this one. With your in a, in a seated or in this four stance position, this is to nourish the kidneys and also releasing the emotion of fear, according to Chinese, the Asian medical theory. So. Your left palm is, so you're holding a shell and you listen to the ocean. Place your palm near your ear, tip to your left and compress into that kidney while you're looking at the back of your right hand. Let's do the opposite. Looks easy. Preventive medicine at its best. If you can remember one thing, all you have is to, re to rewind. This one is your little daily dose of vitamin C. I want to thank you so much. And remember, uh, life is not measured by the breaths we take, but by those moments that take our breath away. And this is one of them for me. So thank you for having me in your home. Have a cheerful day. Stay strong. Stay with that positive attitude. And uh, until we meet again, I bid you well.